We're having issues. We're having issues. See, I'm going through it. This is what happens when you rearrange your desk. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. Something. But it's all good. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through the fog together. All right, guys. So last week was Sundance. If you're watching this, by the time you're watching this, Sundance 2021 is over. Um, great festival, great event. What was interesting about this year's event is that it was digital. Yeah, that's right. It went digital this year. And so normally people all go to Park City, Utah and hang out and enjoy, but COVID baby. There was more opportunities to watch stuff and be involved in a way. I kind of want to take a step back and talk about my experience with it because one thing that the pandemic has done that I can say has been a, a huge plus is a lot of events and things and, and people and places have become more accessible to people like like me. And I'm not saying, I'm talking about just like a person of color, a black man in their late 20s suffering through life. Talk about people that just don't have money and they want to get into filmmaking or entertainment or TV, traveling, the lodging, your, your Airbnbs, your, your Ubers, your car rental, your food. That stuff adds up and is really expensive. Typically like a pass would be between like $300 to like in the thousands somewhere, you know? I've, I've never really looked at Sundance Festival as an option for me. So I spent 25 bucks and got a pass where I got to watch pretty much all of the shorts, the blocks, all the talks. I got to see a couple different indie series as well and indie features if I wanted to. It was well worth the $25. Like I got a lot out of it. Plus I didn't have to go to Utah and be in the cold like everybody else normally does. With this year, with it being digital, with it becoming so accessible, I actually felt like I was a somewhat a filmmaker slash entertainment again like it felt like i was back in that world i know that's gonna be weird to say and explain but like people that know me understand that my passion in life is i want to do tv movies documentaries i want to be in the entertainment film business you know my short-term goal is i want to do production in the actual like the 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 making of the sausage and thing from pre-production to post and put it out there in the world for as long as my body will physically allow me to maintain that lifestyle. Part two is I want to be a talent buyer slash uh, talent development, buying films, selling them to other people, bringing in producers, directors to come to our company and stuff of that nature. Uh, a very relational job, which is why I, I have been doing all these jobs in customer service for so long. Being able to just sit and watch and have the same access to talks and tools and conversations that everybody else had was really eye-opening because it, it let me feel like I was in that part of my brain again. I've been in my current situation for like seven, eight years now or whatnot. And a big thing that happens is people say that they want to work together or collab or see this X, Y, and Z, but nothing really comes out of it. It just becomes a conversation or a thing we talk about it and agree upon or whatever. And it is nothing comes from it. And so part of it's my fault, part of it's their fault. It is what it is. It is just sometimes the luck of the draw. I will say shout out to Andre. You're the real one. You're the real MVP. I appreciate you. And I thank you for letting me work with you, tag along and learn under you from time to time. I got to feel like I was back in that world for, for a week, essentially. And getting to watch different films, talks and Q and A's, and it felt like I was engaging in the community and it felt like I belong there. And that was a really good feeling to have. I don't know if you guys understand what that's like to want to do something, want to be part of something, but you you just feel like you're never good enough or never really quite there. On top of that, to to really bring it home, I got to see what a Sundance film is. And by that, there's a lot of pieces that were highly produced, super expensive cameras, you know, you're talking about Panavisions, mirrors and stuff like that. Really nice, expensive gear that's awesome and, and great and fantastic. But then there's a couple of things that were shot with like an iPhone, some stuff that was shot with like a mirrorless camera. Stuff that was still really well done, but you could tell it wasn't done by a $10,000 camera or, or higher. But it all still felt good because the content, the actual, the story they were telling was still impactful and meaningful. And I think that helped me realize that I have the gear around me to do 
a film or a project i just gotta do it and so i've already been working on this starting like last year during all this but i've been writing more and i've been specifically writing short form comedy skit things to hopefully flush them out get a good understanding of like how to drive home the story and the point and the joke i keep thinking to myself oh i need to make sure my film looks so crisp and clean and good that that they can't turn down because the visuals look so amazing but I, I know I can do that. I know my brain works where I can I can get the technical know-how and figure out how to make something look like this. What you can't teach, well, what's, well, you can teach it. What's harder to teach is how do I bring my writing and then express that to the people around me in the world of the project to get the performances I need. And being able to watch how just that this silly eight, nine minute short film about a, a an ex-lover just like whoa i understand that this is supposed to be about this and like i'm getting the point of the story even like not even understanding french and getting the subtitles i don't care about the visuals at this point i'm here for the story and the humor of it that really helped me understand and get a better picture of what sundance wants in in the things they're looking for um, so hopefully I can stay writing. So I know Danny, you're probably going to watch this video and you're going to be in my discord. We're, we're going to talk on message you soon about the writing stuff and whatnot. I want to try to start. A, I want to try to write like one short skit a week. So I know that's a tall task and I probably won't do that, but I want to just write at least once to one to three times a week. So I'm at the point now where I'm about to ramble and go off on a come to Jesus moment about filmmaking in a woe was me thing at the same time. And I'm kind of tired of feeling bad for myself and want to actually like do good. Hopefully these videos are cool and you like them. Um, thank you again for getting through whatever the length of the video is. Sign off in the comments if you want me to put my podcast and stuff on YouTube so you can view it on there. Y'all be good. Drink your water. Eat your vegetables. Um... I'll see you on the next one. Peace.